Hello world! This is the fourth video in my Halloween AI playlist where I'm building an AI powered Halloween decoration. So far in the first video we installed and read the data of an M5 stack AI powered camera. Um, then we installed the text to speech on a Raspberry Pi. And then lastly, in the last video, we uh, controlled a NeoPixel LED strip with Arduino connected to our Raspberry Pi. And so in today's video, we'll be installing speech recognition on our Raspberry Pi using this little USB mic. Uh, Python speech to recognition library has been the bedrock of my channel, and especially in one of my most popular videos where I made my own Alexa Siri, which you can watch here. So in this video, we'll simply install the speech recognition library and give it a test. Let's check it out. But first, welcome to the 155th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Please subscribe to my channel if you wanna watch me build this AI powered Halloween decoration or my digital assistant. Thanks. So the first thing we're going to do is plug in our Raspberry Pi to the power. Okay, and we'll give it a couple minutes to boot up. You can see the lights there. All right, next we're going to install this little USB microphone up here. And I'll show you why we have to use this little USB microphone. But um, if you have another type of microphone that uses some sort of mixer or wireless, it's not going to work. It needs to be a generic USB microphone that's hard installed into the Pi like you see there. Then we're going to remote into our um, Raspberry Pi using the remote desktop connection. I already have the IP address listed, but if you need to find your Raspberry Pi, you can either hook it up to a TV with a keyboard and mouse and uh, get the IP address there. Or you can download an app called Fing and find any Raspberry Pi that's attached to your uh, Wi-Fi. So we're going to connect. All right, so the default username is Pi. The default password, I believe, is 1234, but I have changed mine. All right, so we are in our Raspberry Pi. So before we install any uh, Py um, Python libraries, you'll need to go to Preferences, Audio Device Settings. Now, your microphone is most likely not here. So what you'll want to do is this sound card. You'll have this one up here, BCM, or you might not even have that. You'll just have blank. But this ALSA mixer, um, that is the default sound mixer for the uh, Raspberry Pi. And so this USP right here is how you use a microphone. Then you'll go to select controls. And then you'll add the microphone and it automatically um, adds this auto gain control. So you'll collect the mic connect the microphone here. So we can turn that up if we want. And then switches, the auto gain control. Uh, I made it my default, the USB. So press OK. All right, so the first thing you want to do is uh, <clears throat> you'll want to install the speech recognition library. So that is sudo apt get install capital S speech recognition, capital R. So go ahead, I've already done this, so go ahead and install that. Now, if you've been watching my channel, um, you've watched me download it on PyCharm, um, but with a Raspberry Pi, you have to also install a library called FLAC. 
So uh, right, F L A C. So sudo apt get install apt hyphen get install flack. And so you'll get an error that says you need to install flack. Um, flack, and I don't know about speech recognition, but make sure you're using sudo if this is your own Raspberry Pi. Uh, so you're the root user, so you have the permissions because it will give you a warning. Okay, so once you have those two installed, flat kind of takes a while. Then we're going to go into our uh, programming and then open our Thani IDE. All right, so we're going to import speech underscore recognition as SR. Um, and you've seen, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen this code multiple times. Um, so you notice that we don't import flack anywhere. It's just a required library that's not standard. Then we're going to do a while loop. So to do that, we're going to go listening equals true. And when I develop the code more, um, at certain places, I'll say listening equals false, and it will stop listening. Then we'll do a while loop. So while listening, in Python, this is the same thing as saying while listening is true. So uh, you don't have to put while listening equals equals true. You could just put while listening with SR, which we defined here, dot capital microphone, call it as source. So you're saying while the microphone is a source, then we're going to do something called a recognizer equals SR dot capital recognizer, call it with parentheses. And then we're going to adjust for ambient noise. So recognizer dot adjust underscore for underscore ambient underscore no noise. And then we're going to pass it the source. Um, let me zoom in for you just in case. I don't know how the Raspberry Pi shows up on my recorder. All right. So we're going to do the source and what this does is it kind of just is just for like background noise and that may prevent um, an accurate um, reading of what you're saying this has always worked for me 3000 right here dynamic underscore energy underscore threshold so we're setting a minimum threshold and so what i found is that this is not yelling but this isn't whispering this is like a stern voice not stern but you know like a command voice and then we're going to try. I like to print listening so I know when to talk because um, this can be kind of finicky. Then audio equals recognizer dot listen. And then you're going to pass it the source, which is the microphone. And then if it doesn't hear anything in five seconds, it's going to give us an unknown value. So timeout equals 5.0. Point zero. The response equals recognizer dot recognize underscore Google. Now there are multiple methods that you can use. I've just found success with this one. Um, and we're going to pass it audio. And then we're going to print response. So we're going to print this response. The accept SR dot unknown value error print didn't recognize that. Now what I really should do is also accept a uh, connection error. I forgot what it's called. Um, because this only works if we're connected to the internet. There are some more complicated speech recognition libraries that do work offline that downloads everything to a computer, but we're not going to use that for this application. And then we're going to press run. So it does give me an error, but then says listening. So it didn't recognize that. All right. Hello. How are you? Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Merry Christmas. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. All right, you get the point. 
So that's all I uh, created right now. Um, so I was using the USB microphone to, you know, capture this and uh, now we can create code to handle the text, do functions based off of what the user said and create our Halloween decoration. And so there's one more uh, introductory video that we'll do. And so I hope you subscribe so you can watch that. And then um, I'll create the Halloween decoration and uh, hope you subscribe so you can watch that as well. All right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.